everybody check it out it is october 14 2024 and the new halloween update is here it has arrived first is the new halloween mode halloween 2024 yeah new halloween mode join a group of daring travelers to save the crimson fleet heroes imprisoned by rasputin's wicked wife click the link to learn how to defeat evil and get your special halloween treat and yeah this is uh several modes from easy to almost impossible and as i recall you have to save the transylvania which has a big sign out that says treats and sometimes you have to use some pretty ingenious methods to save the transylvania which included i think in the previous years pushing the transylvania out of harm's way with uh, a battleship and that was a strategy used to win the uh, nightmare mode is what it was and yeah it'd be interesting to see what the new halloween mode has in store next is the ominous waters calendar which we'll check out complete all daily tasks so this three-week calendar and you're going to receive the commander guys which is the wife of rasputin i believe Equa the Ionian campaign is next with the new Soviet Tier 8 premium battleship Navarin. And this was a, I believe it was a rental uh, about a month or so ago. And now it is the main campaign reward ship. So let's get in there and check it out. Uh, we will check out the, um, we'll check out the Admiralty backing and then we'll check out the store items and then we will check out the calendar and go from there. All right, let's check out the campaign first. Hit the square button and go into the Admiralty backing and here to buy the basic Admiralty backing, it is 2,500 doubloons or $10. And you can work your way through five weeks worth of milestones and end up with the ship and all the rewards within the campaign it is worth i think it's right around 280 dollars worth of uh, doubloons if you do that but you have to unlock all that with 2500 doubloons without this unlocking you'll get a limited set of rewards that is outlined in a lot of the patch notes videos that you'll see out there then here you can buy the complete campaign for 110 dollars 177 rewards plus the tier 8 premium battleship Navarin and you will start unlocking steel badges so those are your two options here uh, for only 2500 doubloons this is sort of a no-brainer if you play the game all the time you can get the premium uh, subscription for nine dollars and 99 cents which includes over 2500 dollar doubloons a month of premium account and so on so uh premium subscription is a thing to get if you're playing the game all the time and you just want to unlock the basic animal debacking all right well as long as we're here let's check out the calendar and go into the ominous waters calendar in here just complete uh, some simple tasks here play a battle everyone could do that destroy a ship and earn 500 commander xp you can probably do this easily in one match you can do uh ai arena standard or the halloween modes to complete these tasks i think you can do halloween modes in the campaign itself so that is pretty cool and it's just some basic rewards here there used to be some pretty good rewards on some of the days like insignias and commendations but uh, those days are long gone if you when you complete the whole week's worth of rewards you end up uh, getting the big prize at the end of the week here which is uh, looks like patch symbol a flag and then a Halloween crate and yeah just uh, select these days and you can see what is available for the day if you miss one of the days you can unlock the day that you missed for right around a dollar or so a dollar or less um, they're always changing it a little bit but it's basically right around a dollar or less to unlock 
uh, each of the days if you happen to miss a day. So for a couple bucks, you could uh, easily complete the calendar and then you end up with Vasilia Rasputina, which is the wife of Rasputin as a commander, guys. So, all right, that's it for the Ominous Waters. All right, so from there, it is on to the store items. Let's see what's in the store. Ah, here is a Sari bundle, which will be available for another 23 hours. And I think what happened is when people tried to purchase some pan-European ships, uh, they were losing their money and it didn't work. So they had to take the whole server down, perform some maintenance, and bring the server back up with a Sari bundle here. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the Sari bundle. Let's see what's in the Sari bundle. Um, oh, it just says hold to claim, select. So here you get a Halloween crate, you get a day of premium account, and a half a million credits, uh, silver credits, uh, for your troubles. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and redeem that. It's only going to be available for a day. So uh, if you didn't uh, get to do it today, I, I think you're out on that. So haunted supplies here. It looks like five pumpkin crates. You get the shadow coins. These are the new currency for the Halloween event. Yeah, this is $5 worth of shadow coins. And then you get another dollar's worth of shadow coins here. So each shadow coin is worth 250 doubloons 250 shadow 250 shadow coins equals one dollar is what i'm trying to say so this is five dollars worth and this is this mirrors the price of doubloons that is for twenty dollars right there for those items here for about 110 120 dollars you will get shadow the shadow travelers and this is Looks like premium skins and guises. Wow, seems kind of expensive for premium skins and guises, but there you go. That is the cost. Yeah, I guess each of these are normally $20 or so. I thought guises were like $37.50. Yeah, um, 3750000 silver credits. This uh, seems kind of pricey, but that is what it is. They didn't ask me about price in it. Okay. Uh, blazing a dread of 15,000 shadow coins here. So, yeah, this is like uh, $60. And you get the tier 7 blazing a dread cruiser. And the cool flag here for, um, wow. 15,000 shadow coins. Yeah, so here are the Rasputin here. Look out for this one because I've played it. I kind of do okay with it. It's actually a Nicholas the First Tier 4 battleship with a Rasputin skin, and it has moved up to Tier 5, and it is definitely not as effective as the Nicholas the First down in Tier 4. So look out for that. Awesome cool sounds though so uh yeah in in the halloween mode rasputin is big time in the game once you buy the ship it's not so much big time but it is kind of cool to look at and i find it kind of a fun challenge to see if you can uh perform some devastation with the ship so right yeah uh 3750 doubloons for the commander guys as i said and that is why i think this item is a little bit overpriced, so I don't know. I guess you do get, um, yeah, I don't know why this is this high, but um, 20, 40, 60. And these should, uh, maybe the flags are valued at something, but uh, yeah, I don't know why this is that high, but it is. Hyper Viper, uh, let me see, what is this? Oh, this is a Hyper Viper skin for the Hipper. For 4,000 Shadow Coins, uh, same as 4,000 doubloons in value. So this is uh, just under $20. It's probably $18, $17 or so. Sharn Horse for 40 bucks. Uh, if you're looking for the Sharn Horse and you got 40 bucks, there you go. 
Common bundle, rare bundle, commendations. These are normally 1,250 doubloons and 20 promotion order. I don't think this is worth it because promotion orders, uh, they're not really all that valuable because you can get them uh, for basically free by playing premium supply missions and uh, only 20 of them for uh, almost $10. That's uh, whew, okay. 70,000 insignias. If you have a bunch of uh, global XP burning a hole in your pocket, here you go. If you need exactly one insignia, there's a way to use up your global XP. Okay, Halloween 2024. And we saw this 45, well, 45 of the Halloween 24 crates for 45,000 doubloons. So at 10,000 doubloons equals $40. This is close to $200 right here. And for $200, you can get 45 Halloween uh, 24 crates and almost 20,000 shadow coins. And with the shadow coins, you can buy the ships. So you're converting like almost $200 worth of doubloons into instantly being able to buy some of those ships out there in the store. And this no doubt is for a lesser amount of those items. Yes, but that's the same deal. Yeah, so for a thousand doubloons, you get uh, one pumpkin crate, uh, Halloween 24 crate, and a dollar's worth of shadow coins. We saw this uh, Leviathan for $40, or $40 worth of shadow coins. That is 10,000 shadow coins. Ark Royal, Crimson Ark. This might be kind of cool looking. All right. Yeah, any Pyrrhus won't like it, but uh, there's the Rasputin. And here are the Commander Guises. Power of Nature, Kansas. These are cool skins for these uh, ships. All right, and then Halloween Essentials. And, oh, here's the, uh, the bundles that they've been doing, similar bundles in previous updates. So in order to get the next successive bundle here you have to purchase this and this is all for shadow coins this time instead of doubloons so purchase a halloween let's see what the big reward is is three golden pumpkin three golden pumpkins uh it seems like a lot of shadow coins just to uh, open up all these crates, but that's what this is. Halloween 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then the golden bumpkin crate. So I don't know who's really gonna be interested in doing this, but yeah, in order to buy, uh, you, you have to buy a, a lower one, the 19, in order to unlock the 20 and so forth here. So, huh. All right, then here you can buy, it looks like you can buy the crates outright if you want to buy specific crates and camos all right well that is it for the store items let's go check out the navarin real quick and see what that looks like i don't really think there's anything else in the, oh crimson break this is the halloween mode uh let's check out the halloween mode why not so here you have easy you have easy normal hard and insane and in order to progress through each of these, you have to complete certain milestones and complete the tasks, all the tasks within one mission to progress to the next one. Uh, certainly for the insane one, that's what you have to do. And the insane one does get pretty darn insane. So you definitely get overwhelmed pretty quick. Here in hard mode, looks like if you finish the hard mode is where you get the tier four Queen Mary battleship. So that's going to be the prize that everybody's going to be looking for, I think. All right, so let's check out the Navarin before any upgrades or anything. There's probably a bunch of videos about this because it was a rental a little while ago. You have 12 16-inch guns. They reach out to almost 17 kilometers, 
Reload time is over 30 seconds. Traverse time is 30 seconds. HE shells have a maximum of 5,800, 11,000 for armor piercing, and seven kilometer firing range for the secondary. So I think they changed the Navarin a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I think they buffed some of the aspects of the Navarin. I don't recall the Navarin had really good secondaries in the past. Armor, this does look like some pretty good armor. Yes, this is uh, probably pretty good armor here, except for, is that the, um, yeah, I think that's the camo making it look green. There's nothing green in the Citadel. So Citadel wise, I think the ship looks okay. But as always, if you get ganged up on or whatever, you will definitely get taken out. Overview, above average secondary battery range. Main battery turrets can rotate a full 360 degrees. So I don't see how that's true for the front turret. Uh, if you know, go ahead and let me know down below. Uh, or the middle turret even. It looks like the back turret is the only one that can actually do 360 degrees. Uh, good concealment, all right. So in February 1914, work on a new battleship design commenced with the primary focus being to arrange 16 inch guns in quadruple gun turrets, secondary battery comprised. Right. All right, well, that's it for a quick look at the aftermath of the update of the Echo of the Ionian campaign and a little bit about the Halloween items and a brief look at the Navarin here. We will probably have a review video sometime throughout the length of this update. Let me know what you think down below. This is the Jaguar and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it.